Hello and welcome to our overview for our Eclipse for Java course. So in this course, we're going to be covering what the Eclipse environment is and how to use it. Specifically, we'll be looking at it in the context of programming in Java. However, this will be applicable for anyone who needs to use Eclipse for any programming language. So what is Eclipse? Well, Eclipse is a very powerful IDE, which is an integrated development environment. And so that means that Eclipse combines all the tools and all of the executables that we need together into one place, into one package, so that we can write our code, compile it, execute it, debug it, step through it, and in fact we can actually bring in third-party tools or other utilities by extending Eclipse and bringing our whole environment into one place, getting all the tools that we need specifically for our development. So why Eclipse? Because it does that for us. We don't have to worry about running Javic manually or Java manually. We can bring our JUnit testing tools into one place and run unit tests directly on our code. We can see our code errors as we write them if there's errors with syntax and errors in execution as we run it all from one place. So Eclipse gives us development, debugging, content assist through IntelliSense right into one package. A very nice way for us to very easily write some efficient code. So who is this course for? Well, again, this course is for anyone who's a developer who needs to use Eclipse. So if you need to know about the tools that Eclipse offers, how to extend Eclipse, what the shortcuts are within Eclipse to do certain things, specifically if you're just learning Java and you are starting to put things together into an IDE, Eclipse is a great tool to learn because it's very highly respected. So what will we learn as we go through this course? Well, essentially, we're going to start from the ground up. We're going to install Eclipse onto our machines and make sure that that's able to run Java programs. We'll then learn about creating classes and packages and how we can do that with shortcuts or how we can do it manually. And we'll see some of that code start to work. We'll then dive into some of the more intense features of Eclipse, such as being able to do some editing, see some content assist, so that will give us some IntelliSense to let us see our programs in action. We'll learn about importing projects, working with those projects and exporting them when we're done. By the end of the course, we'll have gone through the majority of the tools and features available in Eclipse in a way that positions us for ultimate success. What won't we learn in this course? Well, we aren't going to spend any time learning about programming in Java. So if you're looking to learn how to program in Java specifically, this course isn't correct for you. But if you already have some Java experience and now you want to use Eclipse, this is a great course for you. Additionally, if you're just a developer and you want to learn about Eclipse, again, this is a great course for you. So I'm looking forward to working with you. And I hope you will enjoy the course and learn a great deal and come out of this knowing that you are now feeling like Eclipse is the best environment for you to do your job.